I thought we'd work on this one for Diamond Grandma's event. A fee line, hashtag fee line love 24. And <laughs> I just love that face. And somebody said, but that's not a cat. Well, Diamond Grandma said she didn't care as long as you had a story that brought it in to that subject. So here's the story that goes along with this picture. This is Henry. Henry is an undercover dog. His best friend, Betsy, who's a cat, has been kidnapped. So Henry is went undercover as a cat to find Betsy. And that's my story. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> she says, you got a story. She said, I don't care. Just make up a story. So there's my story. Henry is undercover as a cat looking for Betsy, who is a cat. So, <laughs> I thought, I can do that. Actually, I thought it was a cat until I got to looking closer. So, I thought... Okay, she says she's not strict. If you got a good story to go along with it, she'll take it. So, that's my story. <laughs> but I thought we'd work on this and get it done because Monday is the first of July. Time is passing by. Fast. It's like... Oh. When, remember when you're young and you want time to go by you want to be a certain age and you think I'm never going to get there because time just seems to drag by. Unless it's over the summer during school break. Then that passes by like a rocket. So, yeah. I remember getting out. Now, I have to admit, I hated school. I hated everything about school. Didn't like nothing about it. I wanted to be home. Because I went everywhere with my dad. Well, if I was at school, I couldn't go nowhere. Plus, my dad hated me being in school too. <laughs> if he had his way, I would have never went to school. Uh, of course now that I'm grown, got more sense, hopefully, I see how important school was. But in who I just yeah, I was not a school person. And then my son come along and, oh, he hated school. And here I was standing in front of him trying to tell him how great school was, what all he could learn, and thinking to myself, I know exactly how you feel, son. 
but you don't want to tell it that part. You want to make it sound like it's the most exciting thing you'll ever do in his whole entire life. No one. You hated school just as bad as he did. Okay, this is going back quick. I just put a little short video up of how sweet. Hold on, I got gift drums. About to die of thirst here. Uh, probably not, but that's how I feel. And so I went to get that stuff that I just put in the video. Let me tell you, it's so hot outside. There's a breeze blowing, but I think it's blowing hot air. It was miserable out. I'm just, yeah, I am staying in. I fixed me some goulash this morning so I wouldn't have to cook. We got. I could just warm it up. Well, I ended up eating two big bowls of it for breakfast. I take bacon. Now, sometimes I'll take ground beef, but I don't think I had any thought. So I had some bacon and I was needing to get it cooked up. So you put the bacon, I cook in a big cast iron skillet. You put the bacon in, and you fry it up real crispy and brown. Then you dice up onions and green pepper once the bacon has cooked. You put that in, let those saute in that bacon grease. Yes, I ate. Yeah. So, then you pour it in two cans. I poured in two cans of diced tomatoes, salt, peppered it, and put kicking chicken on it. You know how I am about my chicken kicking season. I uh, put that on it. Then while that was, well, while the bacon was cooking, let me back up. While the bacon was cooking, I was cooking my twirly noodles. I know that called something else, spar. Spiral noodles. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, not the twirly. Uh, spiral, the whole, ugh, those twisty noodles. Let's go with that word. And then I uh, let the tomatoes cook good and all that juice and stuff and kept flipping it together. When the noodles got done, I drained them. Put them in and stirred it up. Let it simmer a little bit longer. Then cut it off. Oh, it's so good. So good. It... So, that's why I ended up beating two bowls. And when I say bowls, it's my puppy. Yeah. It was yummy, yummy.
I got to get a picture of Uh, Cause I got the cat part done. I got my cat done over there. I just now working on the dog. And I was thinking this was a partial. I don't know why I was thinking it was a partial. But this cat, this Becky sent me back in. It was so sweet of her. She sent me several of these. And then she sent me that paper that you see me using. This here that says Diamond Art Club. She sent me a bunch of that. And I use that a lot. So, my nose is running, my nose is running like a sugar tree. And if you have not heard that saying, that's an old saying. My mama used to say it all the time. It's not that I'm sick, it's all this dry, dusty, and if you got an allergy to dust, this dry dust it will get to you. And to finish my story about Henry here. Yes, he finds his friend. He, uh, what did I say her name was? I done forgot. <laughs> he finds her and they get to go back home. And of course, we have to have a happy ever after. Remember, that's how Disney used to end their programs. Happy ever after. The Disney books would say that. So, hope you guys are doing good today. Hope everything's going fine with you. Yeah, this is working up 
really good. I had to get me some paint brushes too. I buy those little, cause that poly acrylic, I will tell you this. I really don't know how to clean it out of my brush. I just used water and over time it got sticky gooey. So I had to throw it away. So I just buy those little sponge brushes at Dollar Tree down here. And I use it one time and then I can toss it. You get a big bag of them. Now like Today, I've got two. I've got Winnie the Pooh, and then I got that R dot one to do. So, I'm going to wait till I get this one finished. Then I can use the same brush three times and not just use it once and throw it away. Because to me, that's wasteful. And even at about or 25, that starts adding up. But the polyacrylic, I really like that. I think Diamond Grandma for showing that. Because as soon as she showed it, I went out to the hardware store and got some. Now, the hardware store here. Oh my gosh. It's terrible. I know it's expensive, but I think I can find it cheaper in Glasgow, like at Lowe's or Walmart, maybe. Because I know the Mod Podge, I can get a big thing for nine ninety eight. I got a can about I like that. Can you see? About that tall. The one at Walmart's like this. The one down here is like this. And I had to give twelve ninety eight for it. But I, at the time, I was needing it. And I didn't want to have to drive all the way to Columbia or Glasgow or Tompkinsville. So I paid it. But I thought, no, I won't buy it no more. So, this little bitty container of polyacrylic down here. Thirty. Thirty-two ninety-five. That was with tax. I just stood there thinking, oh, do I want to take this? But it lasts forever. So, I kind of debate it because it's real thin. It lasts forever. It was a can about, about the size of this, but it was about this big around. So, that made, so I thought, okay, it's really thin. Don't take much to seal. I'll do it, but I'll look somewhere else. So I'm going to start. And they'll say, buy locally. You need to buy locally to support your local stores. Well, I do as much as possible, but I live, I have a fixed income. So security on go so far. But I have, I pay my, the first thing I do every month is pay all my bills. All my bills gets paid first, first and foremost. That's also with tithing. 
I take out my tithe for the church, my bills. Then what's left over is gas money and my, it's the next have to have thing. Then after I take that out, what's left is my fun stuff. Cause I think life is too short not to have fun, not to do something you enjoy. Now, there's some people who puts enjoyment before bills, and it never has worked out for them. You think they would learn, but they still haven't learned. I think maybe one of these days, but bills come first. And you know what? God always provides. He don't provide what we want sometimes. He'll provide every time for what we need. He'll always provide that. But a want and a need is two different things. We're going to have revamp camp starting next week. So we won't have a Wednesday night service. And that's always fun. The kids have a great time. And it's not all about games and fun. They do have a time that they take to read the Bible. Uh, they have a, a Bible lesson. They also have fun with the kids. We, last I heard, we had 47 kids coming that had signed up. They have a ball. <laughs> It is so much fun. Bella is asleep sometimes, and her little back legs are just a kick. And if she's laying again, she, boy, she'll just kick the bar out of you.
Cause she just did it. Those little back legs was just a kicking, like a little young rabbit. Maybe that was it. She's dreaming she's a rabbit. I'm going to finish this one up today. I'm going to get work on this one. I've turned in my diamond tea dip ones that I did for her at the end. And then this will also be for next month, uh, Christmas in July. But I have special drills that Diamond Grandma had sent me that are Christmas that it was like, oh, I'll work these. So. I uh, yesterday I was doing what was I doing? And I, cause in the background I was watching videos of Tita's and somebody else's and both of them said check your subscribers because they're getting I think it was Tita now that I say that that they're getting unsubscribed well I thought why well, don't think nobody Oh, mine has. I noticed back some time they had. Uh, so I got on there and looked, and as I put a view channel, it dropped two numbers. And I thought, did I just see that or did that just happen? Then the two numbers came back, and it was like, okay, what is going on? And it did it about three times, and now it's dropped one number back. So YouTube is doing something. So if you see that you're losing subscribers, you're actually not. They're not doing it. YouTube is doing it. And they might not know until they start thinking, wait a minute, I haven't seen. Because they had done it with uh, me on uh, Star's channel. Star Bright and Starlight. Or is it Starlight? Star Prime. 70. Uh, well, y'all know Star. Because you that are on my channel is on hers. Anywho. Anywho. I thought, now I know she's uploaded videos. So I waited and waited. And I thought, no, something's wrong. So when I got to check him, she had been deleted. And that's why I hadn't seen any posts from her. I thought, you know, she, it might have, she lives in a hot climate. I thought, did she get out and get too hot? Because I know the last video I saw of her, she's sitting outside. She did it from outside. 
And I thought, okay, did she get too hot? Because I know she has some health issues. And so I was concerned. Then I realized, no, she somehow or another, she got deleted. Well, so other people are talking about that. So, if you follow somebody's page and you don't see it, you stop seeing it, then go check. Because Debbie gets crafty and her sister, I lost them for a while. Because I thought, now I know they do a Saturday Live because... A lot of times I have it on, but I don't comment. I'll say hi when I first go on. But then, I usually diamond paint, so I don't comment really, because I'm diamond painting. But I listen to them. Well, I had, hadn't seen it. Got to look at On my pages that I subscribe to. They, I can find them. So it was like, oh. So, YouTube, stop doing it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Stop unsubscribing us. we ever do before YouTube come along? Huh? And people say, there is nothing good on the internet. Well, there's you guys. I think it's how you use the internet. If you use the internet for good, there's good. You can't, as my mama would say, you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater just because of a few. Time I start to put it away, I see more Z's. Well, I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> okay. I want to get done with this square before I jump off. And I don't like too many more. I was watching Need Some Miracles. I've seen them all. But I watch them over and over. But now, like the first, towards the first front of them, I have not seen those. I mean, I've seen them. What am I trying to say here? I've seen them, but it's been a long time since I've seen them. That's it. And sometimes I think, now who's the killer? <laughs> oh. Okay, let me see. F. 
Yeah, that when it kicks on. I never paid attention to it. And then it's like I was answering y'all's comments. Commenting to y'all's comments. And it was like, oh no, listen to how loud that is. But I just don't know a solution for it. And every time that thing kicks on, I see money running out my door. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Okay. Whoops. I missed one. Okay. Okay, I'm on call it quits here. Uh, it's getting a little long and I'm, I might have trouble uploading this one. So if you never see it, you'll, you won't even know about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my story along with my dog slash cat. <laughs> you guys have a blessed day and enjoy your weekend. And I will talk with you later. Bye, guys. Love you. And hang in there.